that's sick. <laughs> oh, it's fun. This is so much fun. Welcome back to another episode of Cascadia Kayak Angler. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different approach and instead of focusing on a fishery that I have a lot of experience with, I'm actually doing a video on a fishery that I've never actually participated in before and this is the Rife Lake Landlocked Coho Salmon Fishery. Uh, this is a really unique fishery in that uh, it's one of the few landlocked coho salmon fisheries on the west side of the Cascades and I'm very excited to be out here today and try out this fishery. And some of the things I'm going to go over in this video include some of the techniques and research that I do before I go out to help increase my odds of success when I go out and hit new waters. Now the gear and techniques that I'm using for this fishery are essentially identical to that that I use uh, for the Merwin Kokanee fishery with the exception of that I'm going to try out some little bits of uh, dyed shrimp here as bait rather than corn. Otherwise the troll speeds, uh, tackle, and terminal gear is all basically the same. So let's see what happens. Crazy. That wasn't even in the water a few minutes. I got a fish on. That was on the Yakima Bait Fast Limit Dodger. Woo! Yeah! And a small Paulina Peak Micro Hoochie. Green. Man, look at that, that's a beefy fish. Wow, that's great. You can see these are really beautiful fish, these Rife Lake Silvers. It's got a very large body size, and this is my first fish here, and it's uh, pretty substantial. I'm guessing somewhere in the 15 to 18 inch range, I haven't measured it. Uh, it's a nice looking fish, and just like Ocean Run Coho, they have the same identification marks. They got this white gum line here. Really gorgeous. They got spotting on the back there. Great looking fish. One thing you do need to be careful about at Rife Lake is that uh, the wind here can pick up really fast. So try and pick your launch locations, you know, wisely in terms of directionality of wind and check the weather forecast before you go out. Prior to going out and hitting new freshwater lakes in Washington State, I like to use a variety of resources to research the fishery and decide where I'm going to target fish and how I'm going to catch those fish. One of my favorite resources is NorthwestFishingReports.com, formerly WashingtonLakes.com. They have a variety of information available on their website, including detailed reports by different species for each body of water, including GPS hotspots that include notes from anglers that have decided to provide locations of where they caught fish and how they caught them and these are especially handy useful heat maps which give you an idea of where fish are being caught in general and which areas are more productive in the lake. Using this information I determined that the areas at Rife Lake most productive for landlocked coho salmon fishing included the areas near the dam and the eastern end of the lake near uh, Tidenham Park. Additional online resources that I also utilize include the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife's Fish Washington online application, which you can click links to various lakes in the state and includes information about fisheries in those state, ramp locations on those lakes, as well as regulations. All of the ramps at Rife Lake are currently managed by Tacoma Public Utilities, and you can click on their website uh, to find information about 
the ramps and where and how to utilize them. I also utilize a variety of online social media resources to research uh, new fishing locales, including ifish.net and the numerous social media fishing groups available on Facebook. As always, be sure to wear your PFD and have a great and safe time out on the water. Awesome. Wow. I'm very impressed with these fish at Rice Lake, man. 